the same way doctors and nurses put their right like, like a risk, we do it too. Rafalina Moran has daily contact with COVID-19 patients, but she's not a medical professional. The environmental service worker is in charge of cleaning, disinfecting, mopping, and emptying garbage for COVID patients. I used to go in the room and not think about it. Just come out, wash my hand, go home, take my sneakers off, my clothes, and take a shower, and do my regular routine. We here, you know, to serve them, and we clean. And if this, if you could rewind top, would you do it all over again? Yes. Morana, mother of two, is one of 600 unsung heroes at Hackensack University Medical Center that are risking their lives alongside medical staff to save others. Aside from our frontline heroes and heroines, we have many unsung heroes. They ran into the fire um, and the fire was really an inferno. When we had the surge during the pandemic of COVID-19 patients coming in, we were uh, overwhelmed with the number of patients versus the number of beds that we had. In a period of six days, our plant operations team converted our entire team member cafeteria into a 74 bed patient care unit. We were taking windows out and uh, putting boards in and we were using HEPA filters to vent out the rooms. We were making so that they were all negative pressure. Fred Freshy has never put together a negative pressure room as a carpenter, but he immediately put a team together to figure it out. The father of four says his biggest motivator was watching patients' health improve. Whenever we were needed to stay, we stayed and we got everything done. We made a difference. We made the rooms, put, you know, they were in their rooms, they were safe, and they got to go home to their families. A lot of things come up missing or get broken, and um, need somebody to take care of that. Brian Jacobs dedicated his time to preparing, installing, and monitoring all the machines and ventilators used by COVID patients. Jacobs, like so many invisible heroes, risked exposing his family and six-month-old son to the virus. The majority of our time was spent with patient monitoring, like the one behind me here. Um, we put a few hundred of them in service. Uh, this was one of the floors. We, we put 26 here in a, a matter of, I think, about an eight-hour period. Uh, this is something we would normally spend a few months preparing and planning for. All you see is, you know, sadness for a long period of time and for a lot of hours a day. Every floor you go to, you know, you, you see patients just in hospital beds, on ventilators. Randy Batistas was only four months on the job when COVID hit. The father of two says the fear of getting COVID didn't stop him from helping others. The nurses, they're the front line, they're... They're incredible. Absolutely, what they do is just remarkable. But they do need us, and you know we make their job easier. And they know it. You don't realize what it takes to run a hospital. And every position, from the laundry to the garbage, they're just as important. In Hackensack, I'm Raven Santana, NJTV News.